Consciously appreciate the faithfulness of Jesus. If you are Holy Ghost filled, if you are Holy Ghost baptized, if you have the evidence of speaking with tongues, Kaladia na tote kile bala ya gada bara mati kelo saba lege le bagara la teke tepe lege de bada kota ya nanja ya gada bara bakoto logo dogo 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 sha ya gada ba li baro teke soroti ya giana kate lege de lege de ragada bara makote te li raji ya giala gada bara manakote kelege de jade bokos 
Liru Jagilo Prenoti, Zaka Yagata Paramana Manamana Makotokos. Let the Gadaberene Kotoria Kazaradi Mokosha Kete. Let the Yagata Paramakote Telegadabere Mokosha Tayagadabada. Let the Lagarana Kototo Logotogodoro de Godabada. Lerikia Latia Nutia Gaso Preneco Tekaliki Dikiasatia Makata Para. Le bula gila tele gade monakata para biana tote gade bena kote le giso. Le guru dia gya nakasa tapa ya bada bada. Come on, give him praise. 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 Logo la dino sete jeke la bara bada ni kote kete. La kaya gada bara makate kete le boko toko siti akiasa. standing and open our Bible to John chapter number 5. John chapter number 5. Halala bukusha katatara. Lende geleya bada bada boko shaka para de boko Are we there? We are reading from verse number one. I like the person in the technical to please set this sound very well. Let me hear myself. Praise God. I will take verse one. You take verse two until we get to where we are going to stop. Are you there? After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Verse 2, church. In this lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another steps. Down before me. And immediately the man was made old and took up his bed and walked, and on the same day was the Sabbath. Repeat that verse 10. He answered them, He that made me old, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place.
Somebody shout, Behold, that has been made old. Sin no more. Take your seat majestically in God's presence. Hallelujah. Now, before we stand up to pray, I just want to quickly charge us for a few minutes so that we can begin to pray. If there is any time the body of Christ, particularly the believers, individual Christians, we need to pray more, it is now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I'll be, we'll be dealing with the yoke of stagnation tonight. Somebody said we'll be dealing with the yoke of stagnation tonight. Now, it's a mystery that somebody will not, cannot really pinpoint or lay hold on what exactly is the reason why this business is not moving forward. Why this life is not going forward. Why this person is on a particular spot. Why this family is like this. We saw an example here. A young man was incapacitated, stagnated for 38 good years. That's a chunk in a man's life. 38 good years where he finds his colleagues there in the same problem. The Bible declares that in a certain season, an angel will come and steer the water. But with a condition, whoever steps into the water first is made whole. And here is an impotent man. The other guys that stepped in earlier on before him year after year, season after season, they were the same in the same problem, having different kinds of problems. They all the same, they have problems. But I saw some things here that opened my eyes to see the wickedness of this world. And they also showed me the limitation of man. Here, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 30, there are three things that is not tired of destroying people. Number one, he said the grave is not tired of receiving people. Number two, he says a womb is not tired of being buried. Number three, he said the fire is not tired of consuming. I'd like you to please understand that you are in a world that you may be going through situations and people that can be of help may look at you and walk past you. Hallelujah. That young man in the technical, please, I want you to say this very fast. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm hearing, but I do not like this sounds I'm hearing. Please. Hallelujah. So when we talk about breaking the yoke of stagnation, stagnation is also one thing that is not ready to leave its victim. And to make matter worse, where we often put our hope, hope doesn't come from there. For 38 good years, I asked myself some questions. Number one, he said he has no man to carry him there. Number two, the angel that is coming from heaven did not even branch where the man was. It goes straight to where the man cannot reach. Is that not a mystery of life? Was that angel not coming from heaven? Please, I'm getting somewhere so that you can wake up. Because some of us will put hope where there is no hope. Some of us will expect God to do what we are supposed to do. If you catch this revelation, the prayer you are going to pray tonight will deliver results in your life. Then I asked myself another question as I was studying this. Holy Spirit opened my eyes. Now, there are people that they were in the same problem together. When the angel comes, and perhaps they first step into the water and they are made oh. Off they go. None of them remember that. Let me go and help my friend. Maybe the following season, since he couldn't carry himself. I hope you catch what I'm catching. 
You knew that your friend was in that situation and every year after year for 38 good years. Each time he struggled, he struggled to find himself into a solution center. He just cannot make it there. You left him there. You saw him in that problem. You carry your own bag and left. And none of them did meet feet to say, let me go. Now that I made hope to assist this man, everybody forgot him. That is the situation of many people. There are many of us here who have helped people up in life. Many of them are in Japan, US, UK, doing well, but they have forgotten you. Forgotten your father, forgotten your mother. Many of them have no name to themselves. They have no one thousand to themselves 10 years ago. But through you, they climbed to that point. And now they are made, they don't even want to identify with you. Is that not the mystery of life? We have seen people who train students to become what they have today. And now they are in trouble, they are in predicament. The people they train who have made it forgot them. To make matter worse, some of them, when they even hear about you, they don't even want to know, they don't want to identify with you. The mystery of stagnation and how to overcome it. Hallelujah. Then I sat down. What is the way out? This man put his hope in the wrong people, in the wrong source. When Jesus, the solution provider, showed up, young man, without being made whole, he began explanation. Here he goes again. He began to talk, he began to explain things, forgetting that in the realm of the spirit, sentiments don't make way for you. In things of the spirit, you just have to know what you want and go for it. It's like a jungle life. Put his hope in man. My doctor said, my uncle said, he's coming to help me. I have no man. I have no uncle. I have no connection. And for 38 years, that week was his song. And it never added to his life. If you study chapter 4 of that John, Jesus was just doing, going about doing miracles. And his path was to go through that place. One thing that struck me in that passage was that Jesus knew he had been in that situation for long. Who told Jesus, by the way, hey, let me tap to three people. God knows what we are going through. But there is something that I also saw in that verse 3 of that John. When Jesus saw him lie, submitted, surrendered, when Jesus saw him totally submitted and knew they had been in that situation for a long time. You see, when you come before the Almighty God, stop arguing. Just go straight to the point. Have you listened to me? Why? He knows you more than you know yourself. He knows exactly what you are here for. Don't pretend, don't behave as if you know more than him. If they ask you to act like a child, act like a child. Will thou be made over? Oh, you have been in this situation for a very long time. 38 good years. All your effort has failed. You can see all the effort the man will put in. Not that he was not making effort. It was not just yielding. He said, before I get into the water, was that not an effort? Before I get into the water, behold, another person steps in. The Almighty God will carry you by himself this morning. I mean this evening. You see, when God carries you, you will overtake those who have gone ahead of you. God by himself will carry you and he will put you ahead. Why we are still on the same spot is because the hand that should carry us has not located us. The eyes that should see us has not seen us. The hand that should touch us has not touched us. I pray in this meeting, the hand you need that will make way for you to be top will rest upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. You're watching this program live, maybe via Facebook or YouTube. Wherever you are, distance is never a barrier to God's movement, to God's power. One thing I know is that once your heart is open, your heaven is open. If God can touch your heart, He can reach your heart, He can see your heart, He will certainly meet your needs. I prophesy to everyone under the sound of this voice that as you stand up to lift up your voice and begin to pray, whatever, whoever is responsible, for stagnation in your life. 
will be destroyed at once in the name of Jesus. Listen to me tonight. God will not spare stagnation and the sponsor in your life tonight in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Because we know that somebody can be financially stagnated, though intelligent. Are you listening to me? We have seen wonderful professors begging. We have seen wonderful, intelligent, and brilliant people begging. And we have seen beautiful people stranded. Am I making sense to somebody? Listen to me. We have seen people. We have heard of people. I know this person in Nassau Rock. I know this person in, ambas- in, 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 in the embassy. I know this person. Yet his life does not show that he knows anybody. I pray for you today. Whatever has stripped you naked of honor, the mercy of God will locate you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what is eating you up every day. I decree and declare whatever is attacking pregnancy in your life, attacking favor in your life, attacking marital settlement in your life, the cause of God is supposed to snare in the name of Jesus. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 33, the Bible said, The cause of God is in the house of the wicked. So, to as many that have chosen to be wicked against your destiny, the cause of God will locate them tonight and it will consume them at once. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, quickly, in five minutes, let me quickly point it out. I'm not going to preach it deep. I'll just mention it. Six causes of stagnation. What are the things that cause stagnation? Number one is sin. If you read that verse number 14, John chapter 5, Jesus told that man. After the man was made old and he left, one another time, he saw the man in the temple and I told him what the man needs to hear. He said, now you have been made old. Go and sin no more so that worse thing will not come upon you. People get stagnated in life when they will not leave sin alone. In church, we see you as angel, but out there, you are something else. Are you listening to me? Everybody see that your face are nice and wonderful, but you are character defected. Are you listening to me? I'd like you to please understand that, look, it doesn't matter who lays hands on you. It doesn't matter how many years you spend on the mountain. If you are holding and embracing sin consistently, you will remain on the same spot. Psalm 45, verse number 4. He said, ride on prosperously because of truth. Not because of your surname. Not because of your certificate. Ride on prosperously because of truth, righteousness, and your meekness. Ride on. Make progress because of truth. Can't be fooling everybody with lies. Some people lie with their mouth. They lie with their action. Lie with their attitude. And yet you want to be lifted. Why will you continue to allow the devil to destroy your life? You don't know that sin is equated to dust in the Bible. So dust is given to what? To the devil as food to eat. God told that serpent. He said, on dust shall thou feed. You can't be holding the food of Satan and it will not feast on you. Are you listening to me? Sin is a sinker. Run away from it. God said, I want to help you, but my eyes, I'm of a pure eyes, I cannot behold iniquity. Habakkuk 1.13 Stop cheating people. Live straight. What you are going to cheat from people, gain from people, steal from people, will not make you. It will only break you. Are you listening to me? Whatever you're able to steal from anybody, it shows that you have concluded inside of you, I will never be up to this in my life. What will make you to begin to eye another person's property, to steal it? Beloved, sin is a violation of God's rule and God's law. If you really want to be lifted, be straight in your dealings with customers, with your fellow brothers and sisters, with your colleagues. Let your year be year and let your name be name. Nobody will kill you for saying the truth. You may only lose friends temporarily, but they will get to know you for it, for better, for your destiny. Live righteously. Listen to me. The Holy Ghost has filled you up. The Holy Ghost will not help you to do righteously. You are going to consciously walk in it. That is what God will do. That is what you will do. He has saved you. Save yourself. He said, deliver thyself as a rope from the hand of the hunter. Proverbs chapter 6, verse number 3 to 4. Deliver thyself as the rope from the hand of the hunter. Many Christians are the ones who stagnate their destiny. 
because of lies, falsehood, false, falsehood, falsehood. I have a word to tell you. God really wants to lift you. He wants to move you forward. And everybody's deliverance and progress is in the hand of the Almighty God. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 27, a man can receive nothing except it be given to him from above. A man can receive nothing except it be given to him from above. A man can receive nothing except it be given to him from above. James 1, 17, every good thing and every perfect gift coming from above. From the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, no shadow of turning. So all of us here, we are the mercy of God if we must go forward. And if God, therefore, is the major factor player, the major player in our progress, and he said, this is my time, this is my condition. Come on, be ye therefore holy, even as thy heavenly Father is holy. Many people get born again and throw holiness into the being, and yet you want to make progress. Why are you wasting your time praying when you are still holding on to sin in your life? Pastor may not see that the department may not, may not see, but what do you do in the closet? What do you say when you are not in church? What do you do? What's your action? If you are not straight, there is no way you will not be crooked. Uh, you can't be crooked and miss the devil because that is his lifestyle. Deep connects to deep. You will always attract your kind. If you are such a crooked person, I can assure you, you will be attracting such. If you are not a straightforward woman, you will meet a woman who is not straightforward. If you are not a straightforward man, you will meet a, a man who is not straightforward. Sin. Come to God's presence. Consciously tell yourself, I'm a child of God. There are things I cannot do. It doesn't matter who is going to die for it. I don't care. I can't do this. I have to stand for God. The three good boys told themselves, we refuse to bow to this idol. You want to make progress. Stagnation will break when you say bye-bye to sin. Number two causes of stagnation in people's life is the operations of the forces of darkness. I wanted to preach this message on the open heaven day, but the only ghost laid it upon my heart to just mention some of it. I may go deeper on Saturday. Are you listening to me? The cooperation, the operations of forces of darkness can stagnate a destiny. Excuse me, you don't need to offend the devil before he, he, he picked on you. The fact that you are born again and you are you have determined to live a righteous life is enough challenge you are giving to the devil. Anyone who will live a god living life should prepare for persecution. Are you listening to me? Should I therefore fold my hands because I'm born again and I watch the devil stagnate my life? No way! Praise God. I'm sure this young man that was at the pool of Bethsaida he wouldn't want to go through shortcuts. He wouldn't want to just try to like lobby around. He was just like, try like well, whenever it's my turn. But that is not the approach to life for anyone who really wants to matter. Come sit back and watch your destiny decay. You cannot sit back and watch your business folded up in your lifetime. There are things you cannot tolerate as a child of God. Because I've discovered in my life, if you give the devil an inch, he will take over the whole room. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27, the Bible says, neither give a place to the devil. Don't give him that room. Anytime you see him advancing towards you, rise up in holy anger and attack him. You must learn to repair the wicked ones. You see a sign coming around you, rise up and, and challenge him. I will never fold my hands and stay back at home because I have a headache. Since you've been coming to church, have you ever come to get me in the hospital? Does it mean that I don't feel some feverish, some fever? No. But I have learned the secret years before now. Neither give a place to the devil. Forces of darkness we gather to stagnate a person's life. A young man opened a supermarket, a, a, a business, and over that environment, in the realm of the spirit, except God opened his eyes, he just could not know why he couldn't make progress. We're spending money, spending money, spending money, but there's no, no progress. He was investing, buying goods into that shop. Nothing was working until he came out in a VG one night and the Holy Spirit invited him to come to the outside in front of the warehouse, on the, in front of the field. And he said, God said, let me show you something. And he looked up. He said, look at that cloud. He said, what is it? He said, begin to cause that cloud. He said, those 
that cloud is not ordinary cloud. That is the garden of witches over your business. And for three years, he was just pumping money, he was losing money. He didn't know what stagnated his business, the forces of darkness. When they set you on a person's life, you may not marry till Christ come. When they set you on a family, they will never see the break light, the back light of prosperity. I ask you to pray. You think it's, it's, it's a joke? Some people are so conformed to a life of no result and they have accepted you to faith. Who told you that was your original lifestyle? It was many that God has made. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, the chapter of 31, it says everything that God created, they are all good. They were made it bad, the devil. When men slept, the enemy came and planted stairs. When men slept, Matthew chapter 13, verse 25, when men slept, the enemy came and planted wicked things. Your life was made good. You have a better future. You have a glorious future. But what twisted it? What manipulated you? When men slept, when men lost the place of prayer, when men disconnected from God, when men became alienated from God's presence and power, what happened? The enemy came and planted there. And therefore, what was growing up in their life? Poverty, frustration, sickness, and all kinds of things that you can't trace to God started growing in their life because they slept. Prayer time is time when you are weeding, like a farmer. When a farmer is weeding wheat out of his farm, what is that? To allow the plants to produce fruit enough. When the farmer goes to sleep, it is true that the plant will grow, but there will be stunted growth. You know what I mean by stunted growth? A great student will understand what I'm talking about. Stunted growth. The manure will be shared. You are supposed to get like 100%, maybe 10, 20% will be given to you. And somebody, somebody will, be, 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 will not be struggling through life with that. What will you do with five children and you are earning 50,000 naira as a salary? How will you cope? How will you make it? Are you listening to me? Except God help you. We saw that the intervention that that man needed was not from man until Jesus came to him. I just asked myself, Jesus is just like Jesus. If you read that from chapter 4, Jesus was coming. From like this, he has been healing people, and all of a sudden, he just turned and moved towards Bethsaida, healed that man, and he went. Then I asked myself, Excuse me, that was not the only man who needed Jesus' help. Was he the only one? The Bible said, There lay imported folks, multitude, multitude, but somebody's heart cry came to heaven. And Jesus branch answered him and Picris went away and left others there. Listen to me. If you will choose to be that person that your heart will cry for solution today, you may be the only one going on with that miracle. In the next service, you may I won't be surprised if you come to church riding a car you didn't buy, invited into a house to possess a house you did not build. Don't limit God. You are in a new season. Are you hearing me? Don't ever limit God. Suddenly, I am telling you what you think you don't deserve will be submitted to you. Amen. Hallelujah. That has got work. He left some people and he moved. The Bible says there are many widows in Sarifat. Unto none of them was Elijah sent, but unto the widow of Sarifat. Elijah was anointed particularly and specifically for one widow out of several widows. May you be that person that God will have to work in the name of Jesus. But there is a way you can call his attention into your life. Sin is a sinker. The next one, the forces of darkness. If you don't deal with them, they will deal with you. In fact, they are already dealing with some people. I want no man so any to moshe, they are like moshe. Wicked people. And you don't spare such for time. I won't be able to give you the remaining one, or maybe that you just mentioned. I won't be able to preach. The second, the third one is when a cause is in place. A man can be stagnated. A destiny can be stagnated under a cause. Number four, thing that stagnates a person's life is ignorance. When you are not exposed, you are not studious. The things you need to know, you don't know. Ignorance is darkness. You don't read. There are people here, as I speak to you, they only live their life based on what people say. I hear say, they say, 
They say, I say, the question is, my goodness, are you alive? There are people like that, they are like read. They move in the information that they hear. People say, without verifying it, ignorance. Ah, this business is selling. You can move into this business. Really? <laughs> Collect money. Put there. <laughs> Everything went off. Who failed? It's you. Ignorance. Another cause for stagnation is working with wrong people. Associating with wrong people. Who are your best friends? List, list the first five good friends you have. If none of them is inspiring you, you will soon aspire. List the first five people that you take in a high esteem that you communicate with often, that speak with you, that talk to you. Are you listening to me? If all you discuss is people, you are less intelligent. But if you discuss great ideas, you are people of great mind. Are you listening to me? And the last but not the least, which will spur us to pray right now, lack of power can make a person to be stagnated. Say lack of power. Say lack of power. A country without power, I mean electricity, will be stagnated. And that is what we are suffering in Nigeria today. I pray the breath of life will continue to increase that source for us of electricity. I've never seen any nation that electricity is there and they are not making progress. I've never seen one. Even God himself said, let there be light. First, before he started anything. Progress is tied to power. Say power. And in your own life, the power that you must generate is the anointing of the Holy Ghost. When you support your life, you must go forward. The Bible says in First Samuel chapter 12, verse 6, it was God who both advanced Moses and Aaron. God advanced them. God pushed them forward. It was God that both advanced Moses. So, if God is not there, advancement is not in vain. Jesus stepped into the matter. There was no prayer point before that time. Because God knew that that man had gone to his peak. The man has come to a point that is already descending to hell. At that time, it was his heart that was crying. I tried and tried. If I, like I have my... Let me pronounce no Koshati. And heaven heard. And Jesus moved. Rise on your feet. Your stagnation was breaking your life. Somebody, somebody, somebody shout, it's my turn to step forward. In the next two minutes, before I begin to call the prayer point, I want you to first of all charge your spirit, man. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. La kota karada dabada. La kete le kete rechigia. Lancha gada bara bada bada. Mikote ke le kete ya gada bada. Lutia kote le kete pete rete koya kata. La jagara manito. Ete le kete pete. Lutia kya la gada bara bada bada bada. La kote te le kote te. Do you know that sickness can stagnate a person? It was sickness that stagnated that person. Embulag ya la gada bada. Loko to 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 to. Ya kata kata ra kata kada bara bada bada. Ya koto to lo bona kete ikula jagada. Ya gada gada bada. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Open your eyes and look at me. Listen to me. If you get to a point in your life that prayer is no longer important to you, you are finished. I'm telling you. Because when it comes to a place of prayer, you must pray. He said, my house shall be a place of prayer, not a den of, of thieves. If all you come to do in church is to say, you are finished. Church is no market. It's a place of transformation. 
You want to continue like this? You see, and nothing can rest on your life and you will not change status. Listen to me. If you are not making progress in your spirit, you can never see it in the hope. If, like dear Satan, if your prayer life is not changing, nothing changes outside of you. Every, the first place you register changes in your prayer life. How healthy a child of God is, we check it in his prayer life. If your prayer life is dead, we can't pray. You are spiritually dead. When a person is spiritually dead, you become a, you become vulnerable to every demonic attack. Are you listening to me? When we talk about stagnation, because the forces that head you. Let's read Jeremiah chapter fifty, verse thirty-three. Jeremiah chapter fifty, verse thirty-three. Let us read together. Want to go, everybody? Jeremiah chapter fifty. Verse 33. Want to go? He said, God said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel, Pastor Ochu, come here, Pastor Ochu, come here. The children of Israel and the children of Judah, they were what? They were pressed together. And all, say all. So it is not only one force that is holding you, there are many. All that took them captive, held them fast. I'm holding this man by the waist now. Try as if you want to go forward. Moving your two hands. That is how the situation of many people is. Are you hearing me? All oh, they took the them fast and refused to let them go. This man, into you now, is making effort. Is that right, correct? But his effort you did. No. Until this force is there to it and I release it. I hope you catch that illustration. Another thing that shocked me here, children of Israel, and the children of Judah. They were not Egyptians. They were not Amalekites. They were not Moabites. These are children of God. Held captive. That you think you're a Christian and you think the enemy won't dare you. He came to Jesus, he will come to you. Lift up your voice. In the next three minutes, blast in tongue as if there is no tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to 
Let me know your truth. Oh, Holy Spirit, saturate my soul and let the life of God fill me now with your healing power. Breathe life and make me own and let the peace of God let it end. Oh, I wonder for more of you. Rise up within me, let me know. Holy Spirit, saturate my soul and let the life of God feed me now with your healing power. Breathe life and make me all. I love the peace of God. Let it and thank him. 
What a night in his presence. Stagnation is destroyed. Financially, materially, spiritually, mentally, academically, I can't Everybody pregnant, come forward. Everybody pregnant, carrying baby, come forward. Everybody pregnant, come forward. Kala da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ko shata ta. Eko lo go do go do go do go do go do bushida. Tronka da ba ra ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. Tronja ka da ba ra ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ko soko tere de ko sete tere de ko. La ya ga da ba 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 ko ba la ga da ra ga de ke de be de be de la da ga da ba ra ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ko sha ta ra ga da ba da ba da ba da tro go de ke de be de re de bo ko to ko to ro ro ko shi da la ga da ba ra ba da ba da ba ra ba da ba da ba da lo ko te ke te ke te re de bo lu bu ga da ga ra di ko lo go de ke de be de be de be de bo ko shi da ga ra ba da everybody straight for your hands everybody straight for your hands. Tragada mana, stand to your feet and stretch out your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, commit your son, your daughters into your hands. Every good gift and every perfect gift coming from above, from the Father of Light. With whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning. You are covered, and whoever you are standing in for is covered with the blood of Jesus. Angala bata to sete, makula gya gaga ya bada bada. The Lord laid upon my heart to pray for every pregnant woman here. Only God knows exactly what is ahead, but this pregnancy is protected. No evil eyes will see it in the name of Jesus. Ka telo jaga da ba da ba da, ka da ga da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. Nekosh, ka sata para ba da ba da ba. Stretch out your hands, church. Enge ya da da sata. This pregnancy is protected. No evil in that house. Aha, zaka ta 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 ra ka ta ka ta ka ta. La ta 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 ka ta ka ta. La da ra, la da ra. Bring this pregnancy under the protection of the Almighty God. Aha, aha. The car silo jagate stipala. In the name of Jesus, come on. Eh ya gani atose? Eke legede agaga ya gada. From the evil mirror, I protect you. I shield you. No more miscarriages in your life. No more stillbirths. Receive your babies. Lelujaga. Sister Cynthia, wherever you are, la gani kuti gete gete bala. Ibu na to, your pregnancy is protected, is shielded. Receive the name of Jesus. It's done. Second set of people, you have never been pregnant before, and also those of you have been pregnant, you have lost it. Pregnant, you have lost it. Come quickly now. Take gete bede bede boko shaka tara de boko sh. Ya gada bada 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 boko shoko tere de bunch. Troko toko tere de boko sheke tere de bunch. Ya gada bada 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 bada. Anda gada bada bada bada. It's an unusual meeting. Don't miss it. Aziko sheke te bala gadi akote. La ya gada bara manakoto kotere de boko sheke tere de bunch. 
Church, stretch out your hand. Listen to me. Listen to me. This meeting and this prayer is one prayer you must never miss. Because I know what I saw. You were not there. Diko shata kata pata pata. Liko siati agasatara na koje kete kete re debo kosi. Yagatia notete. If conception is your desire, you receive it now. Receive it now. You two hands up. Masato lagada bodos. Leya bada 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 bada. Kosha kata. Eka debe debo to shata. Father, you are the giver. You are the giver. You are the provider. Even without the assistance of Joseph, Mary conceived. That is how supernatural, how powerful you are. Let your heart open. Let your heart open. Let your heart open. Say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command the yoke of miscarriage and steel back. To be broken on this As I lay my hands upon them, my father, let it be your hand. Distributing to every one of them their heart desire. These daughters, the babies, the boys, they are trusting you for. The word of God says every good gift and every perfect gift comes from you, from above, from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning. You said we should be fruitful and multiply and we replenish the heart. You said as for you, be fruitful, multiply and replenish the heart. You said again in your word that none shall be barren among us. My father, these hands are stretched to you to receive, to receive, to receive. With these very hands, you are carrying your new babies in the mighty name of Jesus. With your hands, you are carrying your new babies. Receive the fruit of the womb. With your hands, you are carrying your new babies. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. With your hands, you are carrying your babies. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. With your hands, you are carrying your new baby. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. With your hands, you are carrying your new baby. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. With your hands, you are carrying your new baby. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. With your hands, you are carrying your new baby. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. With your hand, you are carrying your new baby. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. With your hand, you are carrying your new babies. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. With your hands, you are carrying your new baby. Lagada baya bada bada. Nekoto koto koto. With your hands, you are carrying your new babies. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. What's your name? With your hands, your sister is carrying, with her own hands, she's carrying a new baby. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. You are carrying a new baby. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. Yagada, who are you standing for? Golagada Manakete Kete. Sister UK. Gondiakata Pata. Ake Soto. With your hands, they are carrying their new baby. Wherever you are right now. Distance is never a barrier in the spirit. Tree. With a hand, she receives a new baby. She carrying a new baby. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive the fruit of the womb now. In the name of Jesus. With a hand, she's carrying a new baby. Receive the fruit of the womb now. In the name of Jesus. And Ganama not to take any Atia Gadabada. Church, please stretch for your hands. Nekula Gadabada Manakote, Sister Kemi, receive the fruit of the womb. Jesus. Jesus is the giver. He will not deny you what is yours. La Gadabada Bada. Your sister? Your, your neighbor? What's her name? Doi. Is she a Christian? Father, in the name of Jesus, or Sister Toyo, who is not even here, your mercy endures from generation to generation. Sister Tony, receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. Sister Peju, 
Agada mana. With your hand, receive the fruit of the womb. Now, now. Receive in the name of Jesus. Standing for whom? Alabada mokoto koto redia gazati. Negeya gada gada. The anointing for contagious fruitfulness. I release upon you as you go. In Jesus precious name. Mommy, you are standing for who? Okay, just got married. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for this daughter of Zion and the soul. This one's trusting you for babies. Wherever you are, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest upon you. For fruitfulness. Be forth! My father, you said this is hour of divine intervention. Step into this matter. All of them. You said this is hour of divine intervention. Therefore, Lord, let it be. Mommy, you will hear good news. You will hear good news. Every verdict of barrenness is cancelled by the blood. Kambo Zakayabadaba. For who? Yourself? All right, Father, in the name of Jesus. Sister Grace, wherever you are, I release the anointing to bring forth upon you. With your hands, carry your baby. Receive the fruit of the womb in Jesus' precious name. I release the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon that failure. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. I release the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now upon that fellow. Anointing of the Holy Spirit. Anointing of the Holy Spirit. Receive the fruit of the womb with your hands. Carry your hands. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? For him? Every one of them, wherever they are, let the anointing touch them now. Command their wombs. Open! For the fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus, Father, thank you. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? Amen. Praise the Lord. We bless God for what God has done here tonight. I pray for every one of us seated here. In the mighty name of Jesus, that your testimonies shall be permanent in Jesus' mighty name. It will be visible for the world to see that God has done this in your life in Jesus' mighty name. It is time for us to be a blessing to God's work. God has blessed us tonight. It is time for us to sow it to God's work, to move the work forward. So if you are seated in the congregation, as our custom is in this assembly, you are a tighter, we want you to come out so we pray together on your tithes and God of heaven to continue to sustain your business, your career, even in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you are seated in the congregation, we want you to come out that your business will not dry up in the name of Jesus. Your career will not be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. So come and give to God what belongs to Him, and we'll fight for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are seated in the congregation, you have your tithe in your hand. Please come and. And to as many one of us giving offering tonight, I want us to lift it above our head. Our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for your daughter standing here giving to you what belongs to you. I ask today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as they are paying their tithe, Lord of heaven, I ask that you perform wondrous things for them in the name of Jesus. Financially, Lord of heaven, I ask that you surprise this one in Jesus' mighty name. As this year is coming to an end, whatever thing that belongs to them in the hand of men, mighty Jesus. Praise the Lord.
I want us to celebrate Jesus for all that he has done in our midst tonight, for your new level of glory, give him praise and honor and adoration. I pray that your testimonies are permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Your testimonies are covered with the blood of Jesus. That which you have received tonight, you will not lose it in Jesus' mighty name. We'd like to welcome first timers in our midst. If it's your first time of worshiping with us in Testimony Chapel, just wave your hands anywhere you're seated. Any first timer? Praise the Lord. Let's listen to the following announcement. In view of the same grant, the verification exercise is still on. The verification includes the project for business plan, name, account number, and two passports for ID card. 3,500 Naira is for certificate and ID card that will enable access to the grant. Address is 58, Kudirat Abiola Way, opposite Access and Fidelity Bank, beside UBA. Time is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And please, all youths are reminded of our youth fellowship tomorrow, Friday, by 6 p.m. And by the grace of God on Saturday is our Open Heavens program. Let's celebrate Jesus. It's the last Open Heaven in the year 2018. Let's celebrate Jesus. We all encourage to come early. It's a Saturday. Let's come early and come with a bottle of olive oil and a point of contact for our, for our business. God bless you. And on Saturday at 11 a.m., water baptism is coming up. So register your name tonight with Pastor GD Praise. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus as we welcome our Father and the Lord for the benediction. Hallelujah. In addition to the announcement, I want to first of all appreciate everyone who has invited one or two people for this prayer meeting. You see, what the Lord laid upon my heart that this Thursday prayer meeting has been declared to be our of divine intervention. Do you understand? Say, our of divine intervention. Even if I'm not the one ministering, the pastor that will take the prayer session will follow it in this manner. Are you getting it? You can't be praying like this and not have results. Are you listening to me? So, next week, don't miss it. Next week, Thursday, don't miss it. And on Tuesday, every Tuesday is healing time. Once anybody is sick in his or body, come along on Tuesday. Bring them. The Lord himself will heal them. It's not pastor that heals people. It's Jesus. Why are you afraid to bring them to, to, for healing service? You are not bringing them to man. You are bringing them to Jesus. All right? So tell somebody, please bring them. Hallelujah. All right? I'd like to see the choir exec executive immediately, the church main choir executive that are available. I'd like to see them immediately. And as soon as we are done with Open Heaven on Saturday, immediately there is going to be a short workers' meeting, very brief workers' meeting before we all get set for the evangelism. All right? There is evangelism on Saturday. Is it not correct? Are we not set for evangelism? You are not set. Praise God. Anyway, shall we have workers meeting briefly before we get ready for the evangelism? Because we have uh, stickers for the end of the year Thanksgiving to put on vehicles all around and also the ambulance. If we don't advertise what we carry, the people that to be blessed will not know that we have it. Many people desire experience like this, but they just cannot locate where a prayer like this is happening. I'm serious. Only few churches are praying in these days. We only have people jamboree. That is not the manner of the kingdom. Jesus Christ said, my house shall be a place of prayer, a house of prayer, not a den of thieves. Are you getting it? So let us release ourselves for consistent prayer. Amen? My prayer has produced many results. Even today, I took my, my wife followed me to somewhere and as I went there to preach in the morning to pray for the person, one big man of God somewhere around uh, so, uh, what's the name of this place there? Mendes side. It was from there I sat down and I preached. When I finished preaching, everybody was like, I, I'm leading prayer. I just saw Mopo everywhere. I saw Mopo everywhere. Lo and behold, the commander just came to me and gave me his card. He said he will be in our church on the 16th of December. He said, trust me, pastor will be there. Just tell me anytime. Amen? Amen? 
That is what we will have paid for. We have been paying for security whenever we want to have programs. That we go and pay. But this one is coming free. That is what anointing does. Amen. So I will be the one reminding him. Okay, I hope you not forget. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. God will release upon you the anointing that draws blessings. December 5th, 6th, and 7th. December 5th, 6th, and 7th is a special leadership meeting here. All heads of departments, all leaders, all ministers, they are supposed to be around. Workers, they are supposed to be around. It's a three days prayer and fasting. We are preparing for the end of the year Thanksgiving. The reason is that something must happen. It must not be ordinary service. That seven days must be days of divine intervention indeed. In the precious name of Jesus. I'm sure somebody is blessed. I love you all. Shall we rise on our feet, everybody? I, I, I said I love you all. You, didn't lo you don't love me. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Into the hands of him who is able to keep you from falling, I commit you. Go in this your mind. Succeed. Excel. Prosper. Do well. In Jesus' precious name. Now, before we share the grace, listen, everybody, wherever you are standing. If you are among those who play to support us for the end of the year Thanksgiving, please, we want, you to be, we want to encourage you to please quickly redeem so that the women can be mobilized to do whatever they need to do, all right? Praise the Lord. And in case you were not there when the pledge was being made, you're now hearing now. Say, you are, not, you are hearing now. So do something. Praise God. The Lord bless you and the Lord will keep you in Jesus' precious name. This is the time, the opportunity to sow seed, gather it and sow. Only those who are sowing are entitled to harvest. Listen to me. January, February, March, April, May, June. God has been so nice and wonderful to you. When you are preparing for the end of the year Thanksgiving, which is coming up on the 16th of December, consciously prepare. You can imagine me now drive GL and I put two, two chicken inside of the boot. And I drove GL to church. All I can thank God for is two chicken. Or one basket of orange. That is an insult. Are you listening to me? Is that not an insult? You better go and pack that gear if it's only two chicken. <laughs> Look, so seed. You can't buy life with money. Are you listening to me? You set alarm to wake up. Set that alarm, take it to cemetery. If any dead will wake up. It is God that is working in you. Let us honor him. I'm not saying oranges are not good. They are good for you to break your fast. Not to come and thank God for a whole year. A whole year is oranges. Uh -uh. Oranges. You carry pop a whole year. I want you to please sit down. This Thanksgiving, this year, just, just organize yourself. Home. Can you tell I'm not saying it's not good. You just carry two pounds of yam. For, from January to one tube of yam. Or two, Abba. Please, let's think about this. Thing. I'm serious. I'm not saying good being good for you. But like that two pounds of yam, it can be like 50. Say, Pastor, who is going to eat it? Yes, there are people here who eat it. And they are for sons of Levites. Are you not? Ah, is it not true? How many Levites are here? It shall be well with you. I hope you still love me. God is going to prosper your business. And surely, forever and ever. So when you bring your gift, your seed, Pastor Walaka is there, Pastor Mrs. is there, drop your seed for them. God bless you. Greet at least seven people as you are going. Abba, how can you close and be going like that? Oh yeah, turn to at least seven people. Let me see you. I'm watching you. But don't be alright. Sister Comfort, Miss. I'm sure you are blessed. Don't miss next prayer meeting. It's hour of divine intervention. All right, God bless you. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Uh. Up it, up it. So 
Tupac, 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 Tupac,